Hello everyone, I'm Michael Cheek with Mike'sGuitarLessons.com. We're going to be learning the beginning uh, kind of intro solo to Big Green Tractor by uh, Jason Aldean. And um, we're going to learn the solo part here, but we'll do the, not, it's just the intro solo, but um, we're going to do the chords and stuff like that um, on subsequent videos. So if you have any um, desire to learn the whole song, you can check out uh, the website. It's www.mikesguitarlessons.com. We also have a, an expanded sample lessons page now that um, I've got a lot more videos there than I used to. So you can check those out. A lot of those videos aren't on YouTube. Also, I do the same thing on Facebook. I put a lot of uh, non-YouTube videos on uh, my Facebook page. and I, You can add me as a friend, um, but uh, you'll have an easier time finding the videos if you join my Facebook group, which is just Mike's Guitar Lessons. So it's uh, easy to join. Just go mm -hmm. over there and join. You can check out those other videos. Now, um, let's start off with these first few notes. Uh, this part. Okay, let's go that far. Um, we're going to start off with the ninth fret on the D string. Now, uh, you're just going to play a real short note there real short and you're going to stop it, you know, and then go straight to, okay, so, all right, now what that is is ninth fret on the D string, and then you're going to go to the 11th fret on the G string, you're going to play that note once and bend it up and stop it, just like that, I stop it with my right hand, and let the note back down, or let the string back down, and then play it again, but this time I want you to keep that note bent up to the top and vibrato it. Okay, so. Now, uh, once it's time for your next note, because you're going to hold that one for a second, your next note is going to be the 12th fret on the B string. Just use your pinky for this note. Okay, now that's the only note you play, but to make it sound a little bit thicker, what I want you to do is let your first finger kind of lay across these other strings, these thicker strings, not real, uh, not so hard that you actually play the notes, just mute them. And then what you're going to do is kind of rake across them before you get to that B string note, like that. And that's how he's kind of getting that crunch before he actually hits that note. It sounds a little thicker than it uh, normally would, okay? So. Okay? And then what you're going to play after that 12th fret note on the B string, you're going to go back to the G string and play that note and bend it up and down, and then pull off to the 9th fret, okay? And then play the 9th fret again and hammer on to the 11th fret, okay? Okay? Just like that. Now. Um, once you're through holding that note, you're going to play the 11th fret again on the G string and pull off to 9th fret. Then play 11th fret again and kind of stop that note at the top. Oops. Okay. Then let the note back down or let the string back down and do two pull offs from the 11th fret to the 9th fret. So on the G string. And then play 11th fret on the D string. Okay? So, so far we've got this. Okay? Now, this is the last part of the intro. Um, we're going to have these next notes on the D string, so uh, ninth fret on the D string, you're going to play that note and hammer on to the 11th fret of the D string, then play ninth fret of the G string, okay? But you don't hold that note very long. Right after you play that note, use your third finger to play 11th fret on the D string and slide it to the 14th fret of the D string. You'll notice that it's the same uh, tone as the ninth fret on the G. Okay? Now after you've done that, 
then let the note ring for just a second and slide it back down to 11th fret on the D string and you're going to hold that note for quite a while you're kind of letting it die out or fade out okay because you stay there for quite a while until finally he actually starts singing and then you go uh, slide down to ninth fret of the D string and that doesn't last very long at all okay so and then eventually slide it down to ninth fret okay so one more time with the song Okay, um, that's the end of that little intro solo, and I'll get into the chords and everything in other videos, but uh, that's good for this one, and thanks for watching, um, and good luck.